PCB Way. Thanks, PCB Way, for giving me some parts for this soup electric super cart. That's what I'm gonna call it, electric super cart. Let's take a look at what we got. We're gonna be powering this cart with quite the beast of a motor. So, this is the motor. QS 138 Gear reducer. Reduction. This, I believe, is 2.3 to 1. If you've watched other electric go-kart videos, there's <coughs> a monster. You'll see how the rear sprocket is giant and scrapes the ground on almost anything. So if I have this, I can have a super small rear sprocket, get the same power. Reduce it earlier. That's thinking, isn't it? So because the motor is such a big boy, designed some motor mounts. But this is just plastic. Oh, this is where PCB way comes in. These have been turned into a reality of mild steel, to be exact. Look at this guy. These actually look great. Well, duh. well, I have to weld that motor mount, and I've never welded before. Lucky for me, Harbor Freight exists, and. I'm gonna be learning now. Let's see how this turns out. I'll get it. I'm not 100% sure if I should weld it while the motor's in it, but um, with my logic, I'm like, hey, uh, let's make sure it's aligned. <laughs> I feel like it might be a tad off. It's so close! You see that? It's on! I'm just gonna gloss over it. But, I can't even explain how long it took to get this motor in the mount. Oh! <laughs> it is time to begin envisioning Big Boy KLS 96 401. 400 amp. It's gonna be, uh, quite the build. Something along the lines of this. I want that airflow. So I'll get to, to brainstorming and we'll we'll make something up for sure. It might be kind of hard to tell. This is a bench test and I hope I did it correctly. I am an electrical engineering student at Georgia Tech so I better have gotten it correct. Motor, battery, controller, multimeter is kind of just here. Then I've got my computer. You could make stupid mistakes here. This is not the time to do that. We're gonna turn on the controller. Then we're gonna switch the contactor. Written successful. Our hall sensor angle identification seems to be finished. And it works! Oh my god! Ah, it's so exciting, it works! Now let's just repeat that on like at least one other side. Made them mount, boy. So. Solid. Yeah. Now, doing a little bit of CAD, you know. Cardboard aided design. Hashtag Grindhard Plumbing Co. Love my fellas over there. So yeah, we're gonna make a little uh, plexiglass mounting plate for all of my electronics. We're looking splendid. And then I'm gonna do a, uh, damn, little like little dashboard situation. Switch, 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 switch. Spaceship mode. I'm like super happy with that. Look at that. Oh my god, it looks so good. Woo! Okay, let's keep going.
time of the video where we do wiring. I'm excited. First wiring harness done. This is for the throttle, the regen brake switch. I've got most of the wiring done in pieces. Now it's time to put all those pieces together. I've wired everything up roughly and not clean. We should be good. Power to the controller. Closing the contactor. Let's make sure she runs. Can't see it, but you can hear it, I'm sure. Let's do some programming. Change a bunch of settings. Speed, current, my forward and reverse switch. Reverse. Sweet! Neutral, nothing. I don't have the foot throttle set up. I just have a temporary throttle. But I don't think that's gonna stop me from going to test this out slightly. Don't really have brakes, but we're gonna, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna try it out. That's heavy. Holy smokes. Oh! I'm very nervous, especially since the throttle is Simply Woo. Can you see a key? Boop. High voltage. got the torque. Oh my god! It has the torque for sure, dude. Let's see if I can crank it. so violent it hurts my back. 30 miles per hour really. Slightly. That is violent. I've now got a 26 cell battery on there. More info about this battery at another time. These batteries sitting at 100 volts. I've got my cables for my throttles hooked up. Very nervous. These batteries are something interesting to work with right now. And we're gonna see how this goes. It is a hot day. Try not to let that motor get too hot. We'll see. Holy shit. Last time we tracked 27. Let's see what we tracked this time with a lot more voltage. Oh. Oh my god. That's insane. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys. And I've got regen braking. This, this is really strong and I can adjust it. Holy shit. This is terrifying. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, this is terrifying. To say the least.
obviously you see that it's got the torque. The torque is there. Speedometer app was tracking 37 miles per hour max. It's too slow for this channel. So I went ahead and picked up a 17 tooth. Right now that's a 12. Should make a pretty big difference. Back a little bit. Oh, I always get nervous. I don't know how fast it's gonna be. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> bro, <laughs> that's insane. Now I'm like pushing it to its limit. But it's it's interesting because there's a 200 amp fuse on the controller and it hasn't blown. So I guess I'm not pulling 200 amps. That is like freakish. Let me do like a little launch. It does burnouts at like at like 30 miles an hour. I heard scraping. You heard scraping? I heard scraping too. What is it? Rolls down. Rolls down. Do you have to break? That's scraping. Oh. <laughs> it just like broke my ankle. Nice little memento. Momentum? Memento. Bro. <laughs> I hit it so hard. Oh my gosh, it literally just came I told out. you the whole thing, look, the imprint of the bolt. <laughs> That's nuts. Yeah, I'm gonna get heat for being like doing this in the neighborhood. <laughs> I can't even control it. <laughs> If you're interested
interested in high performance lithium ion batteries like the ones used in this video, go to metsev.com and check our YouTube channel out. Big thanks to Evan Moitoso for producing all of the music on this channel. Contact Evan Moitoso on Instagram for all of your music needs. Another big thanks to CAD Wizard Dalton for making the motor mount for this build. If you'd like to support me and all of the projects on this channel, head to patreon.com slash allthingselectric. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and leave a comment for what projects you'd like to see these Metsav batteries in.